Hello everyone, here's uh, Crip here and this is a new series I'm doing, it's for Pro Evolution Soccer 2015 and it's Road to Division 1. I'm currently in Division 11, I'm trying to get to Division 10, so this is my games that I played to get to Division 10, which was half decent, I played very well most of them, pretty much I, should, I lost one but I should not have lost it, you know what I mean? So here we go. Uh, the teams that I'm actually playing against are pretty good, actually. Um, okay, uh, I have Ibrahimovic and Ribery and Beal and Cazola, Xavi and all them kind of boys, you know what I mean? Uh, but uh, I actually played pretty well in the, the games, like, but see when people are doing these kind of skills by you. Like, do you have any chance, really? Like, you know, there's no need to rainbow flick me like that, like, getting on like that. You know what I mean? He thought he was playing FIFA Street. You know what I mean? Getting on like Ojo. But anyway, um, uh, the only thing I need to improve, I think, in my team is my defence and my goalkeeper. Uh, that's what I'm actually trying to improve at the minute, usually. Uh, as you can see, this guy has Marco um, Mario Guzza, which I would love to have Mario Guzza in my team. Oh my god, he would be unbelievable. But anyway, I uh, don't have him in my team at the minute. So, um, But I packed bail yesterday, so if any of you want to check out my video uh, where I packed bail yesterday, just go on to my playlist and it'll be in there. Excuse me. It'll be in there. And uh, I should have scored that unlucky Ibrahimovic. But then, uh, Bale scored his first goal for the club. He is fucking unbelievable. I'm not joking. He may be fast, but the game in Pro Evo is not built around speed. So, But his technical ability and dribbling, and when he gets away, you won't catch him. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I, I rate Bale quite, quite highly. I'm pretty happy that I packed him. 92 rated card. That's uh, not bad. Like, uh, oh, unbelievable. Can't get over it. But anyway. Uh... So I won the up against Ross Eleven. Yeah, Ross, you were online when I was actually doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty funny. But anyway, uh, yeah, he, uh, he, this guy, he did attack me, and he was showing promise of scoring. But if I felt like he was playing, he was playing the game the way he was playing FIFA. You know what I mean? He was trying to take the whole team on. As you can see, I'm using all my teammates, so I'm using the team. Where that's what you have to do. And Pro Evo, okay, I made a mistake there. But that's what you have to do in the game. You have to use your team. If you don't use your team, you won't get anywhere. Simple. That's pretty much that's it. You know what I mean? You can't just take on 12 people, you know what I mean? And score. But, uh, uh, but so far, yeah, I got the ball back. And just pop it out to Kalishi there. He likes to get forward, as you can see. Tried to get Ibrahimovic in, but couldn't get him. Uh, there's Bale, doing a wee fancy flick. 1-2, in, Griezmann, go. Oh, it should have been a goal. It should have been a goal. I don't, that's what I don't understand about Griezmann. He's a really good player, but his finishing isn't good, and his touch isn't good. That's the two things that annoys me about him. Except for that, he's a fantastic player. But except for that, it really does annoy, annoy me, you know, that, you know, the way he gets on, where... In FIFA, it's different. He's like a world class player. You know what I mean? So I don't understand it, like, in my opinion. Uh, Ibrahimovic. Oh, see, Ibrahimovic. If anyone plays Pro Evo, try and pack Ibrahimovic. He is unbelievable. He's a 94 rated card uh, player. And I'm so used to saying card because of the way FIFA. But anyway, and he's just unbelievable. Oh, it has to be. Oh, look at that wee Jew goal. A wee Jew goal, people. You can't beat a Jew goal sometimes. But it's actually easier to do it in Pro Evo than it is in FIFA. FIFA, I, this FIFA, I actually find it harder to do than I do in this game. So I don't understand what it means, if you know what I mean. I don't know if they've changed the engine in FIFA or not, but I just find it where FIFA um, 14, I find it more easier. But anyway, enough about FIFA. This is Pro Evo. Oh, the long ball. Look at that. Look at that. How, how did he not score? Like, seriously. He scores and he's back in the game. And that was some pass. Holy shit. I have no idea where he pulled that pass out of. Fucking hell. Like, but... That was an unreal pass. I just don't know what he was doing, like, to be fair. But, anyway. um, 
so I ended so in the end I tried to just keep possession here try and get but in the end it didn't work out I was trying to keep possession to get the, the there we go get the half in get 2-0 up there we go you can't really ask much more than that 2-0 up look at the stats I'm, I'm beating them all over the pitch fouls none passes complete 80% that's Excuse me, that's pretty high. So you know what I mean. His, uh, as you look at his team, like his team is actually per half decent. Okay, the only good real player he has is Mark uh, Mario Götze. I would like Mario Götze, as you can see. My team, I have a lot of decent players, but I made a few subs. I bought Xavi on, you know, because Xavi to me is still a god in football. I don't care what anyone says. He's amazing on FIFA. He's amazing on PES. His passing ability is. To me, the best in the world still. Which he's moving away from Barcelona soon, so I'm pretty sad about that. But anyway, thing time has to go on, as they say. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I brought two new subs on. Uh, just a few fresh legs, brought Griezmann off. So I was trying to maybe sneak just another goal, just, just to kill the game out. Because if I killed the game out here, then pretty much it's over. And if I, if, like, like as you can see I tried to kill the game out but his keeper was just having none of this as you can see his keeper was just getting on like a star look at that for a save like it was unreal oh look at that for oh luck that was luck that was unreal luck that's when pro evil gets on like fifa that's what that is and then miranda i think you call him but the way he took that ball off him you think he was ball time i would love ball i I don't know what uh, I don't actually excuse me. I don't actually know what Botang's rating is in this. Look at this. Rainbow flick me again, flicked it over his head. Rainbow flick me again. He actually embarrassed three of my players there. That's, <laughs> it was embarrassing the way he did that. I was genius but it was pure and utter genius like the way he did it, it was like whoa. It was like where the frig did you pull that from? But yeah. Hot off to him like look there he goes again. Rainbow flick now look instead of trying to take an R player on Make a pass. If he made a pass there, he opens my defence up. It's probably a one-on-one -on -one situation. But he decided not to. He decided to try and take more players on. So really, I was just trying to open the play up more for my players, really. Couldn't get Ibrahimovic in. Well, did get him in, but he made a tackle, which was a very good tackle. Can't really fault him for that. Like. And then I got a corner. Corners are... I actually like corners in this game. They're they're pretty advanced, if you know what I mean. You can put it high, you can put it low. Depends on what way you want to put it. And the keeper pulled off an or great save. Only for the keeper, I think it would have been... I would have destroyed him even more than what I did. So, if... Only for the keeper, really, I think it would have been probably 3-4-0 to four nil by half time. So, the fact for his keeper, he pretty much kept, kept him in the game, really. But with the, uh, if uh, see if any of you are going to start players and you are going to start the divisions, try and build your team up first. But also try and look at this. Oh, Ibrahimovic, 94 rated player. He brought me up to three nil. But if you are, um, as I was saying, build your team up first, build your defense, build your offense, and then go online. But also try and keep the. I should have scored. <laughs> try and um, try and use the four. Uh, four two two two. It. I think it's the best formation in the game. I. I can't fault it in any way. It. Uh, offensively and defensively, it's really really good. And your team spirit is high. If your team spirit high, your your team's good. Your team plays better. So if you want your team to play better, look for your team spirit. So if you're losing a lot of games, your team spirit will go down. If you win a lot of games, your team spirit will go up. I actually got mine up last week to 91. That's the highest I've got my team spirit up to. So I was pretty happy about that. Like, uh, was what an interception! Like if he if he didn't get that interception, pretty much game over four 0 You know what I mean? But anyway, I thought I would have got that through, but in the end I didn't. Ibrahimovic, unbelievable. I know I'm praising him through probably this whole video, but it, he's just so good. I, I rate him so highly. He is. He's so, so good. Uh, I rate him quite uh, pretty high now in my players in Pro Evo. I've used so far, but I have used Messi and Ronaldo offline. But I haven't used them in club because I haven't packed them. You know what I mean? He's unlucky he didn't score there. If he would have scored that one, right? and scored the one-on-one -on -one 
you had the long ball, he would have been four, three, three, two. But even at that, it probably would have ended up as more. You know what I mean? So, but Bale just, I passed him off the pitcher. I physically just passed the ball around him. It was tiki taka. It was Barcelona style. You know what I mean? It was amazing. So, like, look, passing, passing ability there is unbelievable. And then he had that chance as well. Didn't put it in. It's his shooting, it's his accuracy up front that actually let him down in the game, I would say. Where my striking force was just very accurate and very good. So it helped, you know what I mean? It helped in a big way. But in the end, uh, I look look pretty good. See, when I get to round about 85, I try and keep the ball more. Just try and keep the ball. Don't, don't give them the ball. Don't be stupid. Don't try and make stupid mistakes. And that's what I try and do. See, if you do do that, then pretty much you, you have a good possibility of you know, winning the game. You know what I mean? So, but then I made a stupid mistake there. Giving the ball back, giving possession back. But he's 4-0 down. He's not going to bring four goals back within that time. So I still feel very good of, you know, actually being able to, you know, see out the game and just seal it out. As as you see, I won 4-0 online. Good that was a very very good win for me uh, as you can see the stats I played them off the pitch now in this this match I I was really angry about because I was I played amazing in this game if, as you can see I, I played unbelievable look at like he he's like I was just like all over like see there there that's the perfect example that was to Griezmann he didn't touch the ball his touch is really bad. His touch is really bad. But see, going forward, he is good. But in a way, he's not good. If you know what I mean. So, uh, as you can see, this guy has Marco Mario Gutze. He has Jimmy Defoe. Uh, he has he has a good amount of players, like a good amount of players that can destroy you. But then Griezmann picks up the wee rebound and he scores an or goal for the club. So well done, Griezmann. That's uh, a good it's a good win. Uh, that's a good uh, result, a uh, good um, goal for you. Uh, well, I wouldn't say an amazing goal, but you know you need a goal for your confidence anyway. Uh, and then you've got Ibrahimovic on the ball here, which he's trying to feed someone through. But his passing ability, his technical ability is 100, which is unbelievable, I think. It's really, really good. Oh, and anyone that is a big Pez, a Pro Evolution Soccer fan, Pro Evo as I call it, yes, look at this, communication for some reason I lost uh connection where my internet's perfect my internet is very very fast and download a hasty movie in under four minutes so I don't understand where that came from but I lost that game apparently where I shouldn't have lost that game so I had to go into the next game and see how I did so as you can see I'm sitting with three points I lost I don't know why but anyway here's the next game this man I can understand why he's calling himself the best because he has, if I recall, Cristiano Ronaldo. This man, yes, has Cristiano Ronaldo, and I don't think he did one skill by me, one skill at all. Like he, he was a really like he had some amount of players. Like, uh, see, now that uh, that was an unreal tackle, but yeah, I don't understand about this guy because he had Cristiano Ronaldo. And he was just uh then here's the free kick here. But he was he was just not penetrating my defence. Like he wasn't going and like trying to fight. Maybe he just has one good player. I didn't actually see his team. I've noticed that in FIFA and Pro Evo. You don't see your team in Pro Evo unless you pause the game. So you see their team. You know what I mean? Where in FIFA you see their team before you play them. You know what I mean? So you know what you're up against. I kinda like that in a way. Because it's not an even playing field, but it's kind of like saying, don't matter what team comes up against me, I'm beating it. You know what I mean? That that kind of attitude, which is good attitude to have. But anyway, it puts Griezmann in, and as I say, he has his good days and his bad days, but he scores. Well done to him. So there's 1-0 up. Comfortable, and also thinking we could win this game because with one more goal. But here's, here's Bale. Bale just decided to get on like a superstar. But really it was an actual OG at the flexion. But I'll take it anyway. There's 2-0. We're 2-0 up. And 
what more what more can I ask for really you know what I mean he tried a rainbow flick didn't work for the man feel sorry for him but he got a got a wee free kick and he continues on as they say I uh, did a fake shot couldn't make a pass he couldn't pick out he couldn't pick his nose never mind pick a player out in his team uh all he does is oh I should have made that pass like that that was bad that was just mistimed that pass that was pretty Well, as you can see here, he just doesn't want to play on. He's 23, almost 23 minutes in, and he just, he's had enough. He's 3-0 down, and he just, he just wants to quit, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, he's just fucking about, really, in my opinion. Uh, he should just play on in the game, and, in my opinion, but really, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, and the, he finally starts again here we go I get the ball back Ibrahimovic and he quits he quits and there we go he, he disconnects he aborts the match as they say and I get the three points so I go up to 411 and also I get promotion don't forget to like subscribe and comment people and also don't forget to tune in for episode 2, which will bring me to Division 9.